Mannequins in Kabul must be hooded and masked per Taliban rules. You know, before I get into why, because the opening sentence tells us why they have to be hooded and masked, but Armin, I would like you to guess why Islamically they want these mannequins to be hooded and masked. It, it, it makes them horny? No. Oh. Come on, this is easy. Wait. Oh, Shirky. It's Shirky. Yes. It's shirky. There we go. Okay. It's the shirk. Okay. So yes, now, yes. now we can get into the story. I, well, the people don't know. I, I, they, basically, they're worried that you might drop on your knees and worship the goddamn mannequin. Okay. If you see, yeah, it's like idolatry. Idolatry. So yeah, Taliban is worried that you might worship these things. Yeah. Um. Okay. So. Let's get into the description of the news. In Afghanistan, the Taliban's Ministry of Virtue and Vice in Afghanistan ordered sellers to remove mannequins from their shops or behead them in 2021 based on an Islamic doctrine forbidding statues and images in human form. Some sellers followed the rules while others pushed back, claiming that they would be unable to display their clothes correctly or it would need or would need to destroy valuable mannequins. The Taliban then amended the decree to allow shopkeepers to keep their mannequins as long as the, as the faces were covered. This has resulted in dress shops in Kabul displaying mannequins covered in black plastic bags, aluminum foil, or pieces of cloth. The policy posed a challenge to shopkeepers who need to obey the strict law and simultaneously attract customers to their shops. Quote, when I see them, I feel that these mannequins are also captured and trapped and i get a sense of fear an afghan woman named rahima told the associated press quote i feel like i see myself behind these shop windows an afghan woman who has been deprived of all of her rights you can see the you can look at this you can see the i mean it's a it's a really good representation of mm -hmm. uh, afghan woman's identity you know, this is this is this is the state of Afghanistan. This creepy, this this whole creepiness. Just like depersonalized, made identityless, like made yeah. faceless. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. But like you can see, like it's amazing that they don't. You would think like they would be worried about the hair or the bare hands or the you know the the body curves showing or their boobs showing all of that you know you were like nope you know that's what people would think like you were like oh this is all this is all too sexy for taliban they would want this covered and then like nope put something on that face before you end up worshiping it <laughs> oh my god it's, it's so insane god religion yeah. is so nuts yeah. Sasan is saying, this is honestly dumb, man. Oh, wait, no, this wasn't the comment I wanted to highlight. Mm -hmm. Tama is saying, I thought I just read a horror movie, novel synopsis. And yeah, but um, Sasan's comment is good too. Why are you wiki? Yeah. So, yeah, I wonder why, why, what kind of men will this culture produce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're already yeah. seeing what yeah. that is, right? Um, because, I mean, the Taliban has been around for decades, you know, we already know. Um, but I think, like, Sasan is also saying there's nothing shirky about them. What the hell? And I think, like, can you explain to people that don't know about shirk, like, you know, because we can't assume a knowledgeable audience, like, what that is and why it's such a big deal. Because they'd be like, why is this a concern with the mannequin, da, da, da. Because there was a guy that was interviewed by the Associated Press, and then he was like, he was really dismissive of the Taliban's rules. He's like, everyone knows that mannequins aren't idols and no one's going to worship them. In all Muslim countries, mannequins are used to display clothes. That's actually a good point. You'll see mannequins all across the quote-unquote Muslim world. Okay, I don't know what Sasan is talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Islamically, this is shirky. This is shirky. I just drew a face. That's shirky. Yes. Oh, okay. This is yeah. That's already enough to get to you to Shirky. That's why you don't draw. Like the whole idea of not drawing Muhammad was didn't originate from the idea of oh we respect Muhammad so much we don't draw it. 
it came from the idea like we just don't draw people because you might end up worshiping the goddamn picture or something you know we just don't draw people and then it ended up taking its own you know but yeah that's a very um salafi way of looking at things i guess like a very fundamentalist look way of looking at things i mean not that taliban is selfie but just in general in line with that kind of islamic thought that just mm -hmm. you know but it, that okay engraving people images of um humans and animals um they're like yeah given like the idea in islam was like given that people end up just worshiping statues or drawings of humans and animals they were like how about we just don't draw humans and animals and like you just like just let's just so that we avoid doing any idol worship so that's how it became a rule yeah i think oh wow um, people are like look at this <laughs> armin the artiste yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um Oh yeah, I also a music guy with the great information. That's why you don't see Islamic art. You know, she has have she has her uh, kind of uh, fringe you know, when it comes to the, she has do have it, but mostly in Islamic art, you see such heavy focus on um, architecture and calligraphy, like calligraphy. Like, why is calligraphy such an important part of Islamic art? Because mm -hmm. they because and you see in Christian art, there's a lot of statues, there's a lot of paintings of people right you don't see that in islam because it'd be shirky it's haram right so music mm -hmm. guys saying that's why mosques only have symmetrical decorations or flowers yet because it's exactly that good 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 info dia yeah. saying this was disturbing all around shopkeepers thought that they were being artistic and making them shine using foil and plastic bags but it makes me think of suffocating yeah. it would be very eerie and Prometheus is saying, do they need mannequins to sell black tents? So this isn't to sell the burqa or the chador. Like, with, that's actually like a stereotype. Like, these are used for dresses that are used for weddings and for celebrations. Yeah, look at that. Stuff. Like, Afghan culture has a very heavy emphasis on weddings as a, like, a very seminal celebration. And so a lot of these are for very fancy dress shops for these special occasions. And granted, like, there isn't much of a market for it nowadays because almost the entire population of the country has fallen into extreme poverty. But, like, Afghanistan actually does have a very vibrant culture that isn't being completely covered in, you know, a, a burqa or a Um And... Now, the, the these shopkeepers that deal with these kinds of dresses, or maybe even the very beautiful traditional Afghan dresses, which I'm obsessed with, by the way, the embroidery is insane. But um, their their lives and jobs are now made even harder by the fact that they have to like keep all this weird, creepy stuff on their mannequins just to remind everyone, um, yeah, not to idol worship a mannequin. Asian American is saying, but in Chinese paganism, a portion of the soul is in the name. Uh, tablets also are in flowers, plants, and genitals. Okay, well, I got. Well, that okay. <laughs> Sasan is saying, so Sunni and Shias don't agree with what is shirk. Oh, Sasan, don't get me started. Oh, you have no that. idea. Oh, you have no idea. Yeah, I mean, you do probably, given their your name. But, I mean, if you want to be a proper son, everything Shia is shirk. Like the entire, the entirety of Shia Islam is shirk. And they're kind of, they kind of have a point though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's the yeah. thing. They're not totally wrong. <laughs> not totally wrong. Yeah. yeah. All right. And I say this as a secret Shia. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how could you not shirk for Hussein, right? Um, can we? <laughs> Hashtag shirk for Hussein. Shirk for Hussein. Oh, yeah. So, 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 sorry, I'm an American Iranian. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Can we? Um... Yeah, Hussein. 
<laughs> yeah, I'll say. That's, that'd be Shirky. That's Shirky right there. Yeah. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.